Welcome back to my channel. This is quite possibly the most formal setup oh, ever for a vlog. I mean, we might as well make use of it and put you on the tripod. I've just finished filming a haul video and I kind of wanted to vlog this week and do like a little week of my life, spend the week with me, weekly vlog. I don't know why I forgot what they were called. I didn't really know when I was gonna start it. So I thought, well, I'll just start it now. Like I say, I have just finished filming a haul, which was with, it was actually in collaboration with Adenola. How insane is that? Like. That brand is in Selfridges and I'm now working with them. That blows my mind. But I thought I would give you a really quick kind of like sneak peek because this haul will be live, I believe, by the time this vlog goes live. So if you want to go and check it out, then I highly recommend because the pieces I managed to pick up are so cute, if I do say so myself. I did get this little set, as you can probably tell. But just the colours of the stuff. So they just have these gorgeous like ribbed, kind of like, I would say loungewear sets because let's face it, I'm not wearing this stuff to the gym. Like, yeah, I'm just not. I think they make really cute basics, especially this time of year, like with blazers and stuff thrown over the top. So yeah, go and check it out. They have all of these little colors, which I'm obsessed with. They have some gorgeous brown tones as well. And I managed to find like some gorgeous jogging sets. Perfect staples for this time of year. So I've just finished filming that and I'm actually headed to London today. I can't speak. I've also got these new slippers. These are from ego i think i'm obsessed with them i've never really been one of the cow print but i just saw these and fell in love with them so anyway i am headed to london today brad i got a train earlier he is basically there for business all week and he has been like a lot of the time at the moment and i just go with him because should we have a deep chat is it a bit too early in the vlog to have a deep chat probably basically i feel like in a relationship this is so deep. Well, it's not that deep, but like as in, I've literally just said hi and now I'm talking to you about the philosophy of a relationship. But I might as well give you my thoughts. So I feel like in a relationship, their work, like you have to work at a relationship. That sounds so dramatic. <laughs> They're not work in the sense of like, oh my God, I'm over it. This is tiring. Do you know what I mean? It's not like tiring work. I just personally feel that you constantly have to make a conscious effort with your relationship. And Brad works away a lot. I am away a lot when I'm going to events or when I'm seeing friends. Like if I'm filming with George, I could be away for like three days at a time. And it's very easy for us to just be like, just live literally two separate lives, do you know what I mean? So I feel like whenever I go to London, it's mainly because Brad has gone to work there. So I could literally be like, okay, see ya, like off you go. And literally live two separate lives like in the week while he's working. But we make a conscious effort, he especially makes a conscious effort to say, do you want to come with me? Like he's obviously staying in a hotel anyway. So most of the time when I go, I do go and stay with him and I go and do my thing in the day. He goes and does his thing in the day. We'll meet up for dinner if we can. Like a couple of nights this week, we're going to have dinner together. And then a couple of nights I'm seeing one of my friends and he is out like two events. I don't actually know what he's doing, but he's got all sorts going on. Like work has just got really busy again, which is so good. But I love that I can... Like, I, I'm really appreciative of the fact that I do have the freedom to be able to go with him. Um, like, I'm very lucky, and I know that, because I know a lot of people have to live two separate lives in the week. But I just think it's making that conscious effort when you can. So, like, at the weekend, you make an effort to, like, do really lovely things together, um, plan, like, your favourite days out, and, yeah, I don't know, just show the other person that you're, like, you, you are here, you still care, you still want to know how their day is, you listen to them. Do you know what I mean? This is really deep. I just feel like I had a really brief conversation with you guys a little while ago about when, I think it was when I last went to London or when I went to London on my own. And I literally just said how I, when I was younger, I couldn't even imagine spending a night away from Brad. And now I'll like go away for a week and won't even think about it, but like in the best way. And I had so many messages and so many comments saying, oh my God, that like, can you speak about it more? Can you speak about like dealing with a relationship when you're younger a lot more like I'm currently going through it and stuff and yeah I just want to be more open with you guys and have like these chats um just in case it does help someone but yeah if you see me in London and you're kind of like why is that girl just constantly back and forth and why are they basically never in their house that they pay for we obviously are here a lot but I do get that sometimes it probably seems like that it's just because his work's picked up again and Brad literally works in London he just works remotely um, so most of the time he's back here, but when he's got like meetings and stuff, that's where it's held. So I just go with him so we can spend some time together when we can. 
and yeah we're just making the effort to like be present do you know what i mean i don't know maybe that was a bit deep maybe it made no sense maybe it helps someone who knows but this is going to be a weekly vlog not a marriage counseling vlog so i will shut up about that now but i need to basically pack my bag i've done nothing this room is a tip i feel like this room is only ever clean when i'm just not filming and then when i pick up the camera it's like someone runs in here and just throws the room upside down because like why does it look like this there is stuff everywhere i actually don't think i've unpacked my bag since since i went away last week so i need to repack that and then i'm gonna get on the road at four ish i think oh which is in 15 minutes good and i've still got to film all the trial clips for this so that's just not gonna happen is it i will talk to you over my plans a little bit later i just kind of wanted to introduce the vlog apparently in a very different way and literally just say hi and then i will kind of take you guys with me i think i'm going to take my tripod in the car so we can have a little chat and do a little bit of a drive with me which will be fun um but yeah i need to crack on now i need to film try and clips for this pack my bag find somewhere to get my nails done because i've had to move my nail appointment because i had it booked for wednesday but i'm not going to be here so i'm going to have to like find somewhere in london to just go and get them infilled so yeah i'm gonna run around right now get everything done and then i will probably see you guys in the car and like i say we can have a little catch up i also need to catch you up on like the whole pcos thing and all of the things that i have going on with that um because there is quite a few updates actually but i think tomorrow i've got a bit of time in the day so i think i'm gonna sit in the hotel room and film a q a i asked um for questions on my instagram a little while ago I still haven't got around to filming that but a lot of the questions were about like where I'm at with all that stuff so I think I'm going to film that and kind of update you in that video. I will speak to you guys in a sec. I need to um, get my life together. <laughs> Hello guys. I am in the car on my way. It is raining and pretty much only dark at quarter to six which kind of makes me sad. I mean the lighting is going to be horrific but I thought I'd do a little tiny drive with me segment. Catch up a little bit. I hope you're all good. Wow, this lighting. There we go. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all good. I feel like I haven't checked in in a while. I'm trying to remember if I've spoken on here about... Well, I think I mentioned it in a haul video, but Brad and I had COVID recently. Um, and it was fine. Like, we really weren't as ill as we could have been. I feel like it was down to having part of the vaccine. I genuinely think that helped so much. Um, we were very lucky, like we came out quite unscathed really like we weren't too ill it did wipe us out for like the full 10 days but i was just tired like i was just so drained of energy and that was like the biggest thing apart from the headaches the headaches were oh my god so intense they were all like at the front of my head um and i feel like ever since then because i kind of took the time off unintentionally off social media i feel like so disconnected from everyone it was the weirdest thing going back on my phone and like trying to catch up with who was doing what like what it was just so weird i was actually the one that caught it typically this whole time like ever since it was a thing i kept saying how i just found it crazy that like no one in our family had had it no one out of my family or brad's immediate family had had it and i kept saying it and i was like brad's little brother's at college like we were here there and everywhere and kind of living our lives a little bit like obviously within reason within the rules but we weren't like all inside all the time 24 7 so i just kept saying it kept saying it and then I was the only one to get it <laughs> and then obviously I passed it on to Brad um, and yeah typically the week we got it we had had like a really busy week the week before which is why obviously I got it I assume I think I picked it up in London I have no idea where like no one I was around had COVID nothing like that um, so I don't know exactly where I got it from but I presume it was just kind of being back in the city and um, the week we were then ill was one of my really good friends wedding which they had moved honestly like three or four times she put him in beat cancer this year like the girl is an actual hero and i was gutted the day i found out that like the day i tested positive was the day before and i was literally like that just that was the worst thing ever basically that was the worst thing to come out of it um then we had like a festival to go to i'm gonna go to all points east to see london grammar and george smith who is literally like two of our favorite artists uh had to miss that brad i think had something planned for the thursday in london but i can't remember what it was and we had to miss that and then there was something else there was something else that we were doing that weekend that oh there was a pretty little thing event on the thursday that i completely missed the molly may event which looked incredible 
and yeah that was something we, meant to be, we were meant to be doing on the weekend that we had to miss obviously and it's like that is so irrelevant I mean we're alive and well and that's the most important thing like I'd rather miss all of that and be absolutely fine clearly but the week after we had when I say we had no plans I did not have one plan in my diary I didn't have anywhere to be on any day at any point like nothing and we had it on the week where we were so busy and had to just miss everything so yeah, I just feel like ever since then, because I was so off my phone, I just had no motivation to like look at my phone or anything. I didn't do any work. And I mean, one, it put me really behind on work, but two, I just, yeah, I feel like I haven't really chatted to you guys for ages. Um, so I hope you're all good. I've had loads of messages because I've recently started doing my house content again when I put up a movie vlog. So if you missed that, I'll link it down below if you want to go and watch it. But it was just kind of like updating on a few things and I had loads of you guys messaging me saying you're moving house or you've bought a house or you're moving into like a rented place I think now because Covid is like I mean it's by no means gone life is getting a bit more back to normal like for real now I feel like I've said that so many times but I actually feel like life is kind of normal again touch wood it kind of stays this way and the winter isn't horrendous but we'll see yeah I think everyone is now like back into like moving and buying houses and renting and people are going to uni like there's so many exciting things happening at this time of year. I love summer, like I feel like summer is my thing. It just makes me so happy. The sun makes me happy, holidays, traveling makes me so happy. Um, but I kind of feel like there are really good points and really good things that happen like autumn, winter. Autumn, winter fashion's my favorite as well, to be fair. So yeah, I'm excited for this part of the year. I'm really excited for Christmas. Is that too soon? That's way too soon. I'm so sorry if I offended anyone. It is literally like September and I'm excited for Christmas. Oh well. I just can't wait to get a tree again and do all of that. I'm excited for it to potentially, fingers crossed, be a pretty normal year or a pretty normal rest of the year and we can have a good Christmas, enjoy autumn, winter. I'm yet to have a pumpkin spice latte. That is something I really need to do. Actually, I might get one tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have like a chill day tomorrow by myself and just go to the shops, um, have a look around, film a video in the hotel room. I think I mentioned that earlier, film like the Q&A and grab some lunch and stuff and just have like a really nice me day and then i'm out for dinner with my friend in the evening which will be super nice so yeah i'm literally just on my way i've left at mm, six o'clock even though i want to leave at four but it's fine i got my video filmed so that's all good like that was what i was prioritizing anyways i feel like this clip is already quite long and this is a weekly vlog so i need to keep things short and sweet so i will check in with you guys when i get to i think i'm gonna park at stratford and then we're staying at the claremont which we've never stayed at before but it looks it looks really fancy i'm not gonna lie um i think we got quite a good price on it because it wasn't like crazy expensive but it looks like a bougie hotel so i'll give you guys a little bit of a room tour um when we get there but i think we're gonna have some dinner in stratford and then make our way across the city and get to the hotel so yeah i'll see you guys in london Good morning. It is currently half 11. I actually have been awake for a little while, I promise, even though it literally looks like I've just rolled out of bed. I haven't. I have been chilling in bed though. I'm currently obsessed with Sasha Rebecca. I can't get enough of her videos. She's just so chilled. Like, I love following her life around. She has the cutest, I think it's a cockapoo. It might be a carvapoo. I don't know, but she kind of looks like Bonnie. She's just so cute and I love watching her videos. So I've been sat in bed literally catching up with her and I need to crack on with some work actually. I've also been debating ordering Deliveroo for honestly like half an hour I think. Like I've got it all in my basket but I just think I'm being, I think I'm just being a bit dramatic. Like I need to just go out somewhere, get dressed, go and grab myself some food rather than making it come to me. Do you know what I mean? I'm being so lazy. Oh, that's George. But yeah, I don't have any plans today i just have a bit of work to catch up on so i'm literally just gonna have like a really chilled day and then i've managed to book dinner for quarter past eight with grace so i'm going over to covent garden i'm gonna go to the ivy i just love the ivy i feel like you kind of know what you're getting it's always good food so um yeah that's what we're gonna do this evening i already know i'm gonna have a black and cob because it's just 10 out of 10 if you like fish i highly recommend that but I've literally just got up to kind of say hi to you guys, um, say good morning. I want to give you a room tour actually. This hotel it is beautiful, like honestly stunning. Um, I will try and show you like the entrance when I go down later, but wow. Like we literally walked in and I was like, are we in the right place? <laughs> Cause it is unreal. I did take a picture of it last night. This, is that gonna focus? This is the entrance. 
like as you come in and then it's got like this massive chandelier oh my god it's just it's gonna be taking loads of pictures it's just stunning like look at this ceiling oh my god Rob was like i'd love to have one of those chandeliers in the future and i was like right <laughs> like imagine this was once someone's home like that is so crazy to me but yeah we're on buckingham palace road i think um so we're like that side of london we're literally in victoria so it's really central which is quite nice and yeah the hotel is just beautiful so i'll give you a quick room tour obviously it's like a little bit lived in now but i hope you can still kind of get the vibe it's like huge as well i'm just really happy i think we did it's not like cheap cheap but considering you can spend like 150 pounds on a holiday in or you spend i think like 180 or maybe 200 we spent on this you spend like 50 quid more and you get like a completely different room in a completely different part of london i am trying to hide the fact that i'm chilling just in a jumper right now but as you walk in you have like the door here and then all of these wardrobes on the left love that they're mirrored i think these are actually stunning kind of getting home in spo in this one we have the mini bar and stuff but i've also just unpacked all my stuff because we are here for four nights so i've got all my jeans and stuff up there and then in here we just have another wardrobe with all of our bits hung up i've literally just put my shoes to the side here this is all stuff that i still need to dry i don't know if i've mentioned this before but whenever like every single time me and brad go away we always do our washing literally last minute and then end up having to bring all of the damp stuff with us so we can just let it dry. So that's what's happening over here. But then this is the rest of the room. So it has like this gorgeous, I mean, I love the coving and then the bed, oh my God, is literally huge. Like it's unreal. But yeah, the bed is really cute. We've got a little radio here. These are little bedside tables. I have bought the secret with me because I want to pick this up again and start reading again, but I'm just really bad at finding time, well, making time to read, I guess, but I'm determined. So yeah, this was a very comfy sleep last night. This is Brad's side. We have just a little chair and a table. And this really cute view actually is kind of through the, the building's obviously super old. So it's through one of the like archways. And I just thought it was really cute. Like all the rooftops. I have no idea what those buildings are over there. I think this one is a block of flats. So probably shouldn't be filming that. And then it just comes around into this little desk area, which again is a mess. I've put my bags one here um i do like to bring options i don't really know why i do go a bit overboard but i've got my little prada nylon bag my louis wallet on chain and in here is my patent leather little prada mini bag as well i literally use this so much especially on the night out i love it so i think i'm gonna make myself a coffee oh this is the bathroom by the way it has like underfloor heating and everything it's really cute actually again kind of love these tiles these like white brick um and it just looks like this we have the sink area here which again has all my stuff on it and then a bath shower situation and then the toilet and that's it by the way you may have spotted this um this is my new friend <laughs> i don't know if i've mentioned before but i personally have you know you see all these tiktoks that are like all about like blankies and how you'd have one when you're a kid and now literally all you have left of it is like a tiny bit of material mine is actually held up quite well and i take that thing everywhere with me I'm not ashamed to say i feel like a lot of us do it and just don't want to admit it but i literally take that thing everywhere with me and i was on tiktok the other day and i saw someone unpackaging like basically this but the one that they had was probably the size of this pillow like just for a bit of size comparison that's how big theirs was mine is this size and i put this on my instagram the other day and everyone was like oh my god where did you get it it's so cute guys i can't tell you where i got this from because i thought it was going to be the same size as the one that i saw online and i don't want to tell you how much i paid for this or where it was from because basically i've been scammed like this is not worth the price that i paid so i'm not going to tell you where it's from um the brand is jelly cat it's one of the like jelly cat teddies so if they come back in stock on their website then buy it from the website or like buy it in store or something because then you'll know what you're getting yeah i definitely should have done that but he's still cute <laughs> this is sasha's channel by the way i'm gonna link it down below because i just feel like a lot of you guys will love her videos as well i'm just obsessed with her i think it's her accent as well there's something just so homely and like cozy about her videos it's like you're on facetime you know when people are vlogging and you're like you're watching it and thinking i feel like i'm literally just on facetime to you and i kind of love that i'm being so lazy and i've ordered myself some uber eats i got itsu 
and I'm really excited about it. Kind of a boring day's vlog, but I think I might be going out for dinner with the girls on Thursday. I think George might come into town. Molly's already here. Hopefully there will be much more exciting things in this vlog, but I'll show you guys my lunch when it gets here. I'm so happy right now. I'm also watching Lewis's um, Met Gala review. Honestly, the funniest videos. These are like my favorite videos of the year. This boy is just too much. Anyway, it's Sue. I think I'm gonna just get it all out because I can't do this one-handed and then I'll show you what I got. I did go overboard because I'm gonna save some of the sushi for later. <laughs> so we have some hot food. I went for a chicken teriyaki bowl, which is literally my favorite thing. When I used to work in London, I used to, I mean, I would eat these every single day. It wasn't good for my bank balance, but tasted great. Some bao buns, because again, favorite thing in the world. These are duck ones. I did get some gyozas, um, so I'm gonna like, eat some of these, put them in the fridge for later, everything I don't eat. And then I also got some avocado rolls, because again, I just can't say no. And then I've just got loads of sauces and stuff in here. Love that they have given me four chopsticks, as if this is for more than one person. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna have some lunch, finish watching this, crack on with some work, and catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm back. I'm still in this hotel room. I feel like I literally, well, I haven't left these four walls, but I am about to head out. I'm just finishing getting ready. And first of all, I wanted to speak to you about this because I am obsessed, like obsessed with it. I saw Jade Pierce talking about this, but I believe in her video, she said that Sid put her onto it. And wow, it's basically a hair perfume. Um, it's from Negan's range and I mean I'm obsessed with Negan anyway and I've never actually tried anything from her hair care range I think she's come out with a whole well, yeah it's a whole brand and yeah I saw this in Selfridges the other day and I was like Do you know what I'm just gonna pick it up because anyone I've seen speak about it says that it's like the best thing ever this smells incredible I can't even describe it the only way I can describe it which sounds so weird but it smells like your parents would be going out for dinner or something when you were younger and you'd like hug them goodbye this is like what my mum would smell like so it's really nostalgic um but yeah i just love it it's basically a honey infused hair perfume and i just i mean i've got my hair slicked back but you can still smell it so i kind of just give it a few sprays and then style my hair and then i feel like when people hug you that's when they can smell it so yeah i'm obsessed i'll link it down below if i can find it online but i don't really know what bag to pair with my outfit i've gone really simple i'm basically wearing these two black pieces i mean these are literally bow and tee cycling shorts um and then i'm going to throw a blazer over the top so let me put the blazer on because i feel like that really ties the look together okay this is what we're looking like i'm not really a huge fan of these little ties in the front but i mean i literally can't get rid of them i kind of love this it's so easy to wear like obviously it's just an all black outfit i feel really comfortable in it i'm going out for a nice big dinner so I kind of love this. I am actually going to pair it with my Jordans, which I do not wear enough. Like, the amount I spent on these in resale is sickening. So, I need to get more use out of them. So, I think I'm going to pair it with these. Um, and then I'm just not sure what bag. I feel like this little part will go really cute with the shoes. But then, I think I want to wear my black Prada bag, because I do love this. And obviously, all black outfit, this would go really nice i think i might wear this and then the jordans thought i'd come in the bathroom and show you my finished look it is very very simple like i'm sure all of us have got all these pieces in our wardrobe already i actually do have a little chain necklace that i might add where did I put that? okay maybe i won't because i don't know where it is this blazer is from zara i love that it's got these kind of shoulder pads to it like it's really structured but then the rest of it is actually quite like loose fitted which is really nice it does have these little buckles on the arms which i don't love but i don't hate them and then the little top underneath is actually from zara as well it's just like a little kind of racer crop top then these cycling shorts i think i already said are from bowen t on o Poly. and then my jordans i did get these from kit game did i get them from kit game I can't remember, I think it was from there, but I know that they sell them. And then this is from Prada, but I got this on Farfetch, which I think I actually have a discount code right now, which I believe is Emily Philpot 10. I will confirm that and I'm gonna leave it linked down below, but if you are looking to make any designer purchases anytime soon, then I couldn't recommend Farfetch more. And obviously, if you can save yourself 10%, then definitely do that with my discount code. But yeah, this is me now ready. I'm gonna call myself an Uber and then head over to Grace's flat. I think she's lived there like over a year now and i still haven't seen it so i'm gonna go see that and then we're gonna walk into covent garden and go for dinner 
Good morning guys. I did the worst job at vlogging last night. I think I last spoke to you as I was literally heading out the door, but I just met up with Grace, went to see her flat, which was so cute. It's such a nice little place. She literally lives like in Covent Garden, which is kind of crazy. Um, she's like a two minute walk away from the square, which is so lovely. But yeah, we had a quick catch up, went for some really lovely dinner. Um, we quickly went for a drink before because our table wasn't ready. I feel like places like the Ivy and everything, they're so on it with you being there on time. And then when the table's not ready, they just don't care. And they're like, oh no, just go like for a bit. We couldn't sit at the bar to have a drink. I don't really know why they just said they weren't serving drinks. So we had to just go and have a drink somewhere else. We actually had a glass of sangria, which was really quite nice. And then, yeah, we went for dinner. Yeah, I literally haven't seen Grace in months. So I didn't actually take my camera one because my bag's too small, but also because I knew that we'd literally just be catching up on like so much stuff. So I'm sorry I didn't vlog that, but today I am just getting ready to head back out again. I'm actually headed to Sloan Square to meet in. I think I'm gonna take my camera with me. I'm gonna take my bigger bag so I can bring you guys and maybe I'll vlog a bit. I'm meeting her for brunch actually, so I need to get a move on. But then later on, George and Bella are gonna come into the city. I think they're shooting today know where they live and when they're done they're going to come into london and then we're going to meet up with mole who's working here and then go for some dinner somewhere which would be so nice so of course i can show you guys that and then tomorrow i'm not really sure what i'm doing but i know that on saturday george is actually having a really cute little like celebration with all her friends for hitting 100k so i'm going to hers on saturday so i think i might make that a separate vlog so i feel like this vlog is going to be quite long anyway but yeah i'm just gonna finish off my makeup and then i'll probably catch up with you guys once I'm dressed, I'll show you my outfit and everything. Just quickly on makeup products, I am absolutely loving at the moment. I have fallen back in love with this, which is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I didn't love this at the start. I honestly felt like it didn't help my makeup at all. I felt like it kind of made it split a bit and not sit on my skin very well, but I'm obsessed with it now. I don't know what's changed, but yeah, I literally love it. It's so moisturizing, which I kind of love. And I really feel like it gives you like a nice glow under your makeup. I don't know how well you guys can see on camera. I feel like it makes your skin look so nice. So yeah, obsessed with that. And I have finally figured out how you use this. When I first got this Refi Star, I do soap brows anyway, so I use the Pears soap. Um, and when I first used this, I just didn't get it. Like it just was not sticking my brows up. I didn't really understand where I was going wrong. And now basically I kind of use a combination of both. So I use this to start with and kind of put it, put quite a lot through my brows to be fair. And not really stick them down, but just let it set for a while. And then I have tiny little spoolies, um, which I can't find right now. I literally can't find one, but I literally have like disposable spoolies like this, or even you can use like, the thing on the end of an eyebrow pencil and then i put it in the pair of soap like kind of get some products on there and then i literally just like slick my brows back and it's working really nicely like they are literally holding all day if it focuses and also it doesn't give them that kind of like white cast so i feel like i finally perfected my little fluffy brow moment which i am still loving so yeah there are a couple of makeup products i feel like i barely speak up makeup on my channel anymore but i actually love it like I love makeup so much. We actually went to a NARS event the other day, thanks to Sid, honestly. We were like, me and George were like, I've lost twos. <laughs> it was a proper pinch me moment. Like I literally couldn't believe I was there, it was absolutely insane. I feel like me and George still go to these events and we kind of stand in the corner with each other, with a drink, look around at the fact that everyone in that room is people that we have known and watched and loved for so long. And we just stand there and look at each other like, what the hell happened? Like. I don't know, we just have moments every single time, like it's just never felt normal. It's always been like the most amazing feeling, but it's just, I think we're way too grateful to be at these things. Um, Jamie Genevieve was there, and I'm gonna embarrass myself here, but I always said to the girls, if I'm ever in the same room as Jamie Genevieve, I can't not say hi and I cannot not freak out. Like I just know I'm gonna freak out. And I saw that she was there and I just like kept myself to myself. I was like, mm, maybe I'll say hi, maybe I'll be too shy. And it kind of got to the end of the night and we were like walking out and she was by the door and the girls walked out before me. And I was like, if you don't say hi, like you're gonna go home and just regret this. So I said hi and I got talking to her and I did freak out a little bit. I was like, I'm really sorry, I'm freaking out. But honestly guys, she was the nicest person I have possibly ever met in my life. Like had so much time to talk, like asked me so many questions. 
she was just lovely and obviously I love when you meet someone that you've watched for so long and like have obviously this perception of and they literally live up to those standards if not like be so much nicer than you thought they were going to be it was just amazing it literally made my whole week so yeah I'm very happy that I finally got to meet her and I'm happy that I did say hi so if you do ever see anyone out that maybe you follow on Instagram or like YouTube or anything go up to them because I promise you one it makes their day but two it just it's like the best feeling when you have a good conversation with someone so yeah I do love makeup and Nas very kindly gave us like little goodie bags as we went home and there were some really cute bits in there that was like these lip products we got like these which are honestly beautiful and these last all day I wore it the other day I think I might put it on today actually but um I think I filmed like two videos ate and drank and it was still on my lips so I kind of love them these are the air matte lip colors this is in the shade thrust it's kind of like a, a brown tone nude which I personally love but yeah let me stop rambling about makeup and I will speak to you guys when I'm ready to go forgot to mention but I have to tell you guys if you haven't been put onto this yet you need it in your life it is the best bronzer i actually have well, i've got the cream blush but i'm trying to remember what name or what shade i've got i think it's called oh it's here um malaya malaya this is unreal both of these like combined oh my god i am obsessed with them i kind of don't love powder bronzers anymore especially over summer these were like the perfect combination for like a little bit of foundation, these two paired together, a tiny bit of highlighter because these are so creamy and have a bit of a sheen to them anyway. Obsessed, like you do need them. I did buy the brush the other day, which I do like. Um, it is like a really gorgeous stippling brush. It would actually be really nice for foundation as well. I'm yet to use this end because I feel like it's just really quite small. So the brushes I use are this one from Morphe which is just a bit more dense. I think it's actually a powder brush, but I really like this for bronzer. And then for blush, I use this one, which again is a lot more dense. It's just a bit bigger, so I find it easier to use. But yeah, two other products that I would highly recommend and I will link down below. You're gonna have to excuse any mess you might see behind me, but this is my outfit for today. I have this Essentials jumper on, which I am in love with. I have the black hoodie and the kind of like oatmeal color. And I wear them all the time. So I wanted to get this knitted version for kind of autumn winter because it's just so cozy. So I've thrown this on with just some cream cycling shorts. These are from Opoly. They have this like really cute ruching down the side. And then I've literally just thrown on my Balenciagas and some Adenola socks. So I thought it looked cute together. And then I've also got my little Prada bag in the nude. So yeah that is my outfit for today i am gonna order an uber and then i don't know why i keep speaking to you in that tiny mirror but yeah i'm gonna order an uber and head over to sloan square and meet in for some brunch it's currently one o'clock so it's more lunch but i'm sure we'll find somewhere cute to eat this is my makeup by the way i thought i'd show you it in more kind of natural light so you can see how glowy the face base and the refi stuff makes your skin I'm obsessed with it. Also, this is the lip colour. Do you think it's a bit dark? Like, I kind of want to be a bit more tanned, but it's fine. I don't want to be late, so let me order an Uber. And I am going to bring my camera with me. It does fit in this bag, so I will try and vlog. Um, again, we're probably going to be catching up a lot because I haven't seen Inns in a while. So I will vlog what I can and kind of show you guys where we head for food and stuff. So yeah, I will check in with you. Hi. Do you like a tan goddess? I look <laughs> pale next to you. Like actually so pale that makes me feel ill. I think I did get burnt in my um what in our lunch stage. I think half of my leg is burnt. <gasps> look at that tan line. I've got a freaking tan. Oh my god, you actually do. Oh my god. <laughs> is it on my back or that? No. It's not on my neck. Hi guys. Do you want me to take it? Yeah. <laughs> We have just finished a little lunch date, which was actually so cute. We went to this place. Bardo. What was it called? Bardo. Bardo. We sat outside. It was cute, but there was wasps. Yeah. And it was hot. Like, sun hot. pounding hot. We're going to go to Zara, do a bit of shopping. I'm seeing, we're seeing very cool people out today, aren't we? Yeah, everyone's looking cool. Like, we yeah. have cool outfits on. Then there's us. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so we need some sun inspo. Is everyone's like... Do you know what? This is the best weather to dress for because it's like little cute coat yeah hey, like, you look cute do i yeah. thanks i am fine doing stuff it's very comfortable yeah this is cute Thank where's you. this pop from it's from actually it's actually from, from um giddy hey. yeah very cute i thoroughly enjoy jeans where are the jeans um, from 
They're from, I don't know, they're my sisters. They're like Harley Davidson jeans. What? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, they literally are. They have a Harley, Harley Davidson Yeah. Thing. This girl always looks very cool. It really embarrasses me. She shows me up every time. <laughs> Um, I also need to go to Space NK, our favourite place. Mm. But we spend our lives in there. What is it you want? It's so heavy. We're trying on a trench. <laughs> to be fair, this is the vibe that everyone's got today. Kind of love. It's a really nice colour, actually. Wow, you look a bit like um, Inspector Gadget. Is that a good thing? Don't you don't know who that is? Who? Inspector Gadget. It was a film. Cute stuff in here. This is like work, where is it? I mean, wow. Really high, is it? Mm, no. Maybe not with the blue dunks, no. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. I like the colour. With the floor, I'm honestly okay. being blinded right now. Love, I think this would look cute on you as well. Really? The blue and green. You can pull off things like that, I just can't. I just look like a. Just do it, I call her. I don't like Dennis and Dennis. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Actually, it's nice. Get it. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a pit stop. We just I got a new pit. cardigan. Oh yeah. Did we show you that? I think we showed uh, you that. Yeah. Um, we're loving the cardigan. It was 30 pounds though. Oh, well. I thought that was quite expensive considering it's not for comfy. It's a bit scratchy but fine fashion. We took some pics. Wow. Um, really good. Yeah, it was the light and the building's great vibes. And so now we're having a join the juice. I bought this. 10 out of 10 do not recommend. It's meant to be an acai bowl, but no, when did acai look like that? <laughs> oh, you I feel really bad. Like, like, should have gone to the other place. Yeah. Acai berry. Maybe we will. Or there's juice baby. But mm. See, there's two, like, either people do a juice baby or an acai berry. I'm personally an acai berry girl. Right. But some people are juice baby people. Well, I did buy it and then Inns was like, yeah, I knew you wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, great. Yeah, you try these things, you would be like, ah. Oh. It's disgusting. It is bad. It's, I should have known when he said, basically, I don't really like banana. Isn't that only banana and acai? No, acai is a fruit. That's what I thought. It's purple. That's what I thought. So there should be no banana in it anyway. Right, so I, when it's a banana on the board, I was like, oh great, there's like banana on the top, like every acai bowl you see. And I was like, can I have it without the banana? And he was like, we've already made them. I was like, okay. So I probably Fresh. should have known then. He was kind of rude, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Kind of scary. Rating is a big fat zero. They absolutely do not buy it. Oh, Go to a side berry. Yeah, a side berry. Maybe Acai. I will because I'm so intrigued. Mm -hmm. I've not it's had really one. good. We're we'll good. That was my first experience and it was horrific. Will we? Will we? I've been well, really bad at vlogging, guys, because I don't. Oh, I just picked myself in the head. I get nervous in public. But then you know when the camera's out, when you whip it out. It's actually fine. Yeah, no one looks, no one cares. I feel like you get away with anything in London to be fair. Yeah. And I, yeah, I'm not really thinking about it. Mm, we need India to start our own channel. Nervy. She's been speaking about it for years. <laughs> we actually could have started this whole thing together, but she left me in the dark. Oh, no, but look at you now. Just that right. Yeah. I look at me now. <laughs> I want you. To, I really want you to. <laughs> I really find it fun. One day I'll be able to leave her link below. Link below. <laughs> Better now than you know in two years' time. Got mm. any ticket? You'll be a family channel by then. No, two mm. years. No, no, no. No, yeah, that's no, no, no. Anyway, oh my god, see us. Anyways, we're gonna finish our drink. I got a stress down. Really, actually, do recommend. Yeah. Don't recommend. Do recommend. I got. I got tea. It's really good. It's vanilla root root Oh. I don't really know what we're going to do after this. Maybe go to Acai Berry. Maybe go to Acai Berry. And then I actually have a bit of work to do, so I probably should head back to the hotel at some point. But we're having a nice day, you know? Sun's out. We're sat here. It's a lovely little setting. It's very nice. Although the road rage going on here is kind of traumatic, but it's fine. <laughs> I am back at the hotel. I thought I'd just come back really quickly to kind of have a little bit of a chill time. I do have some stuff to edit and a little bit of work to finish off. So I'm gonna quickly do that and then kind of just touch up my makeup, redo my hair. I think I'm gonna have to re-wear last night's outfit pretty much, which is absolutely fine. Um, I think I've said it a vlog very recently. There is no harm in re-wearing outfits, especially if you feel comfortable in them. But I do actually have these leather trousers. So I might do either my Zara straight leg jeans and the little black crop with the black blazer again instead of the shorts 
I don't know. But we have booked dinner for quarter to eight this evening. Me, George, Mole and Bella are going to go to Ivy Asia, which I'm so excited about. Recently, me and George tried to go there and we literally just had like basically the worst experience. Like we, granted we were really late for our table, like it was our fault, but they were so rude to us. Like I've just never been spoken to like that. So we were like, oh my God, we're, ne we're never coming back here again. But we'd heard so many good things about it. And recently I went with Brad... Ben and Zell when we were all in London and George was like please tell me it was like the worst food and the worst experience you ever had and I was like I really hate to say this but it was honestly like the best food so ever since then I've said to George like we need to go so we've managed to book that tonight which is kind of crazy because I usually really booked up so all I would say is if you go to book it check on the day like halfway through the day because I think they release tables because I do highly recommend seeing India was so nice as always it's always so nice to meet up with like old friends like india and grace who obviously i saw last night they're all my school friends obviously they both live in london so i rarely get to see them but it's always so nice to properly catch up when i do and like go for really nice dinners and have all that time together so yeah really lovely to catch up with inns and i'm looking forward to seeing the girls this evening but i did i thought i'd do like the miniest haul ever i literally barely bought anything but i can show you what i did buy probably not the best angle is it so we did pop into space nk i did want to pick up some more makeup bits i did just pick up a moisturizer because i forgot mine and this is like my favorite moisturizer ever it's the sol de janeiro bum bum cream or boom boom cream yeah it's like the miniature travel size so i thought this would be perfect because even when this runs out i can just refill it with the one that i have at home turns out this was actually a hair treatment and I realised that after I put it on my legs the next day and literally couldn't rub the moisturiser in for the life of me. And then I read the package and realised that it said cheveux or cheveux. I haven't done French in a long time, but that means hair. Um, really good hair treatment though. I actually used it the next day and I was very impressed, but definitely, definitely isn't a moisturiser. And then I did actually pick up the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This has SPF 50 in it. This probably would have been a lot better and a lot more useful in summer. But obviously it's still really good to wear SPF like all year round. So I thought I'd give this a go. I got it in the shade Medium Tan. I mean I literally just swatched it on my hand. But I'm sure I'll be absolutely fine. The coverage looks lovely though. That is all I got from Space NK. And then from Zara Home. I saw this. And I mean, I have so many reed diffusers, but I just kind of love them. Like, I have so many candles in my house, but obviously, to smell the candles, they need to kind of be lit. So, I got this one, which is the Water Lily and Cedar Musk. They had this in, like, a hand soap and also a candle as well. But I thought the reed diffuser, like, actual bottle was so pretty. Oh, no, the label's ripped. That's annoying. Um, this is what it looks like. I believe that just goes on there. I just thought it was really cute. I love the colours as well. And of course you get the little black reeds with them. So that is all I picked up, to be honest. Nothing that exciting, but I didn't really plan on buying anything, so. Why well, are you having a mental breakdown? Hello, you like... Huh? You're vlogging right now? Yeah, I am. Like right this second? Yeah, I am. Oh my... This is my current outfit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my dress is in the freaking background. I am on FaceTime to George and Bells and they are having a breakdown. Ben is re ready. Here she is. Here's her outfit. Guys, I actually look like a like, unwatched shirt right now. You're, so. going, you're off to the gym. Wow, oh my god, stunning. Stunning. That, when I say you're going to match the decor, oh my god, it's like you look like the floor in the best way. You're going to match the See, I've never been to the Ivy Asia. The, the floor literally looks like your top, like in the best way. Where's the I think it's Princess Polly, but Motel. Like, it's Motel, but they sell it on Princess Polly. I'm enjoying. Right? Loving your hair as well. Wow. Hey, I redo it a little bit. It's gone a bit. They're having a breakdown, and I'm sat here just chilling on my bed. <coughs> oh, here she is. <laughs> my God, you've gone from blue. <laughs> what? No, no, no. I need something under laser. I can't try a bra, can I? Oh, Not right. I thought we were trying, like, an all-black outfit now. We're going through all the colours no. of the rainbow. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this hot situation. I think just a bra. Really? Yeah, why not? It's us girls. Yeah, I think that looks really cute. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, behind the mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my silky cycling shorts instead of these Calvin Klein. Ooh, ones. silky. Okay, this is a. So cute. Sure. 
I'm not sure. I really like the boots and I really like the blazer and I really like the, the shorts. Really? Yeah. I feel like my legs look really chunky. Oh, George, I'm going to hit you through the phone. There's a song about that, isn't there? Oh, no, Kiss Me Through the Phone. Kiss Me Through the Phone, yeah. <laughs> not Hit Me Through the Phone. Right, just thought I'd check in with you guys because I was finding this really funny. All right, we've actually got a Sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. So we're going to got ourselves out because we've got to leave very soon. Have you got to leave the station at seven? Um, things tight with my wardrobe. Oh. Yeah, we're getting Uber to... I'll beat that out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to leave um, the station at seven? Yeah, we've got to leave the station at seven. It's quarter past six and I'm still here and I'm, I haven't done makeup, hair, anything. Okay, um, I'm going to leave here at seven as well. So I'll grab the table so we don't have a repeat of last time. I'm going with their arse on that effing See, goddamn effing I'll sit, Excuse my language. I'll everyone. sit on the table, like on the actual table. Look, we've done this before and we didn't get the table, so we're all highly stressed that we're not going to make it again. We'll be fine. I have already told that story in the vlog. Oh, really? Yeah, because I just can't wait for you to actually try it because it is unfortunately great. <laughs> Can you believe that I managed to, like, well, when I clicked on that, obviously you booked it, but that I managed to see that there was a table. So weird. By the way, did you manage to find out where your other booking is for? What? How bizarre? So weird. You're, you're bizarre? going out for dinner with someone else. I don't have another booking, so is somebody using my card? Oh, God, yeah, I didn't even think of that. I, I don't I don't have another booking so I don't quite know what that was all about. That's so weird. How I am ready. I feel like this is a complete repeat of last night's outfit but I have just switched out the shorts for some jeans and then I've got my little Zara heels on. Same little bag so I was going to bring my camera out but you guys literally don't fit in here. I have tried. It's just too many, so I am gonna vlog on my phone. Again, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but I'm gonna order myself an Uber, head over to St. Paul's, um, meet Molly, I think, because she'll be one of the first there. This is my kind of topped up makeup, really quickly. Um, I've done this little hairstyle again with the bun, hopefully you can see that. And then these two little kind of face framing pieces, which I'm loving at the moment. I am gonna tuck them behind my ears though, because they're probably gonna get stuck in my lip gloss when I go outside. Anyway, I am going to get a move on so I'm not late. And yeah, like I say, I will vlog on my phone and show you guys what we kind of get up to. Very excited to catch up with the girls. I feel like I'm having the most social week ever, but I'm really, really enjoying it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we arrived. We just got some drinks and we had a whole experience, didn't we? Really, I was really excited. There was, there was flames and everything. It was worth the 14 quid. <laughs> <laughs> So we made it into the Ivy. We're actually on time this time. We've got a table, everything's fine. We do feel a little bit rushed, don't we? They've asked us about four times if we're ready for all the food. So we think there's another table that they're waiting on, but it's fine. Um, we just got some corn stars. Cheers! 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 I'm stressed. I'm going to drop it. to have these moments where like we're looking at this St Paul's is in the back and George is having a moment we've just left the restaurant we just need to go and get Mo's case but we're just gonna have a stroll around London we want to go for a drink but the guys they've got to get a last train back I'm really just saying is. I work here so I take it for granted it yeah, is yeah you sunny. do it is one of those things you get used to yeah what just St Paul's just St Paul's just Paul <laughs> I feel like we've come out with an air hose there yeah. She's off. Yeah. That's my. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going? To the Ned. The Ned. You directed us this way. Is this a it is a ho oh this. Yeah, like what is it? I think it's a shopping centre. I don't really know. Madison I didn't realise we were in something when we were here. It's like, called Cheap Side. It's called what? This is called Cheap Side. Actually, it's called Cheap Side. Yeah. Oh, bizarre name. It's not that cheap. No, what did you say? We were going to go to Madison's, but we decided against it because um, last time we were there, I don't think I've ever well, run so I quick in my no eye. More. I need to say no more. I don't have an expose on it. <laughs> to so, be fair, it was in George's vlog, so I just ran you over. I did a review, actually. <laughs> did you? On TripAdvisor. I actually left a review on TripAdvisor. Did you? I did. I made an account specifically for 
to leave a review. <laughs> I'm what was dead. The um, Never go here. Something about, oh, what was it? I, I had a sarcastic title. What was it? <laughs> I, 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 I can imagine you thought of that for like half an hour. Opening of an envelope or something. Oh my god. How horrific it was. That is so funny. To be fair, it did deserve it. So we've decided against that tonight because, oh my God, it was just, I've just never in my life. So we're going to go to the next because it is lovely. Live music, good drinks. I've literally never come to my Really? Never been to next. Really cute. Never been to next. Highly recommend. Cheers. Me again. I'm just eating a Snickers, but I just realised that I didn't finish off this vlog. So the Friday... I think the last thing you saw was a Thursday night. So on the Friday, me and Brad woke up um, in the hotel. He was finally done with like all his work stuff. So we had a little bit of a lay-in, which was nice. And then went for some lunch at Sticks and Sushi just in Victoria, which was really, really lovely. And then we kind of just went back to the hotels, got our laptops, went to a local cafe and did a load of work together literally for the whole day just sort a load of admin bits and got ready for the weekend basically so we didn't have to work over the weekend and then we headed home no we didn't we stayed over again yeah we stayed over again so we actually went for dinner that evening i don't know where i just got that from we went for dinner at the ivy in victoria which was actually a really lovely one so if you are thinking of going to the ivy and you're in london i do recommend that restaurant because it was just like a really beautiful setting so yeah, that was super nice. And then woke up on Saturday morning, Brad headed home and I then went to G's. So I drove over to George's house to celebrate hitting 100K with her. And it was the cutest day, but I did actually vlog that completely separately. So that video will be out very, very soon. I'm excited for you guys to see it. It was just a cute day and it was so nice to catch up with everyone and obviously celebrate with George. Um, I'm so proud of that girl. And it just is so crazy that we were celebrating her hitting 100,000 followers on instagram so yeah keep an eye out for that video and i hope you enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts it was very chatty that's the vibe i'm getting i mean i quite enjoy a chatty weekly vlog but i know some people don't so much so give me some feedback in the comments let me know what you do and don't like and i will be down there replying to you guys but subscribe if you want to stick around for more videos in the future follow me on instagram this is melting my hand so i'm gonna go and eat this now um, and yeah, just thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll speak to you guys very soon in my next one. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This makes my thumb look weird, but yeah, I really am going to go. Love you.